The first thing that struck me was were the people here and how friendly they were. The love and enthusiasm of the people uh, communicates itself and it sort of passes into the stonework. It was a Georgian and Gothic building from 1804 right through uh, to 1964. A continuous build through those years. Uh, the former seminary of, um, of the Catholic Church for the north of England until 2011. My favourite part of the building would be St Cuthbert's Chapel um, because it's extraordinary. It has a lively uh, spiritual uh, atmosphere um, that communicates itself immediately as people come in and it gives a sense of awe. Visitors come, I walk them down the corridor and you turn the corner and then they come into the chapel and immediately you get this uh, reaction of people uh, where they sort of gasp and they think, oh wow, didn't realise this was here. It's not necessarily the, the largest and most grand spaces that are the most precious to me. There are corners of this place that uh, uh, a small chapel, a lady chapel, which is very special indeed. Very quiet, very peaceful, very small, highly detailed, very, very decorative, um, and it reflects the, the devotions of, of the church to, to Our Lady for, for decades. Being shown around the place, corridor after corridor of Pugin architecture, that whole history starts to infect you, as it were. Even though I've been working here for several years now, I'm still finding um, beautiful details in the architecture and the building that I hadn't noticed before. So it's just wonderful to still be discovering things after so long. There are um, quite a few uh, unique and rare items in the Yosho Library. Um, there's somewhere in the region of a couple of hundred in Cunabla, which are the very early printed books. So these are dating from the late 15th century. There are also a large number of English literature books. There are, for example, first editions of Charles Dickens' works, as well as Byron. We found a manuscript of Byron's poems in, in one of the printed versions. In terms of the archives, we got quite an interesting item, actually. Um, it was a coded letter that relates to the marriage diary of Catherine Braganza and Charles II. Its beauty and treasures and history has been hidden for so many years. The mission statement going forward is to open it up, open it up to everybody of any faith and any background. Only since last year have we begun to realise its potential as a venue for both visitors uh, looking around the place and for uh, using its, its spaces for music and drama and of course prayer. We started drawing up a program and just to see whether it would run and run it did. Our ideal would be that it continues to be of service uh, to education, to community life, to helping people to live in an atmosphere which has also a spiritual dimension um, and that that still continues to communicate itself to people.